Please be sure to turn on your electronic devices in order to fully enjoy the experience. The story of Tales of the City is one of quiet revolution. What you doing? Feeling the vibes of fiery resistance seeping into my skin. We find we're able to still push the conversation forward, extending it to the younger generation. And it's the opportunity of a lifetime to come back to something that was truly a formative experience for me. People have been talking about bringing Tales back over the past 25 years but the reason for it being redone had to be in response to the world that we're living in now. A couple of queers walk down the street and no one knows it. Are they still queer? Barbary Lane is a magical place that exists a little outside the real world. You'll find I'm not particularly literal about these things. Literals for the unimaginative. Action! Just as Barbary Lane is a safe place for our characters, I wanted the show to be a safe space for viewers. Inherently within Tales, <laughs> there is a sense of family and a sense of home. It's got a little community. <laughs> These friendships and, and relationships are all about letting you be the person who you want to be. What's up, millennial? Do not ever call me that again. Generations that seem like light years away actually can reach common ground and understand each other, and it's just a matter of listening. So it's time to regroup and show again how a loving community can become a family. What do you think's up there? Rich white people. A lot of the season is structured around Anna Madrigal and a flashback to 1966, a secret that she has. Hamptons was basically the Rosa Parks bus of trans history. Girls, this is Anna. We see Anna's experience juxtaposed against these trans women that she falls into. Those men, the ones you drink and dance with, those men are killing us, one by one. Predominantly marginalized people, in some ways, potentially being rejected from their family, you know, have to form their own family. This feels too good to be true. My mother used to say, there's, there's only, only the, the truth. truth. Any community, race, culture, class, all of it, it shows that we can all be different and still experience the same things. The new generation. Isn't it beautiful and also terribly depressing? Terribly. The books and the series are such cult classics. Oh, this is surreal. I produced the original in 1994. So we were making a love letter to San Francisco and a love letter to a new, all-embracing, non-judgmental, version of family. For the viewer, I think it, it just widens their perspective. I think it's especially good for younger people and makes their humanity more inclusive. You don't wish for what's to come. You revel in what's already here. <laughs>